Today we're going to take a look at um, a pretty common error message when you're trying to find the zeros on your TI-84 calculator. Um, a lot of times you'll get an error message that says no sign change. All right, probably what that means is that you didn't have your blinking cursor on the left side or the left bound of the zero, and you, then the right side on the right bound of that zero. All right, when the calculator asks those questions, if you don't have it in the right spot, then it's not going to find a change in the signs. It's looking for a negative and a positive so that it can locate that zero. Over here I've got a um, parabola already graphed in here and clearly we can see there's two zeros right here. If I look at this left zero, all right, when it asks for the left bound, I've got to be below that zero with my blinking cursor. Then when it asks for the right bound, I have to be above, all right, because down here would be negative, down here would be positive. So the calculator then is going to realize the sign has changed and it will be able to find it. If you're not in opposite spots like that, then it's going to come up with a no sign change. Now, it's just the opposite when you come over here to the zero on the right. The left side of this zero right here is above the graph. And then the right bound or right side of the zero is down here below. And so there would be your going from positive to negative from left to right following the curve down here, which would be the right way to do it, and you should be fine. Um, I'm going to go in and demonstrate uh, doing it wrong. If I do um, second and then calc, I'm going to hit two for zero because I'm trying to find a zero. All right, now let's just say for some reason I'm doing this, you know, wrong because I don't know what I'm doing. It says I want my left bound. Let's say I leave the cursor there and I hit enter. It asks for the right bound, and then let's say I go a little bit farther down for whatever reason, and I hit enter and then let's say I just move it right about there for my guess alright and then there is that message no sign change alright and it is all because the cursors are not in the right spot those blinking cursors are not in the right spot when a calculator asks those questions alright so let's go ahead and hit one to quit out of there go back to my graph okay so let's do this one this right one and do it the right way here let's go second calc all right, hit my zero. I want to be on the left side. All right, so clearly I am above, so it, the calculator is going to read this as a positive. All right, hit enter. Now it asks for the right bound, so I'm going to scroll down here to the right side. All right, I am on the right side of that zero, and down here is negative, so it clearly is, is going to find the sign change that the calculator needs. Hit enter. Then I'm going to go back up there to the guess and hit enter and then it's going to find that zero at x equals about 3.16 and then y equals zero. All right, so um, just a common uh, thing that sometimes happens if you don't have those cursors exactly in the right spot, then the calculator is not going to be able to find those zeros. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps for anybody that happens to be getting this uh, error message.